Hi guys, welcome to another Kimkazi creation video. Just doing a little bit of tidy up, clean up, uh, thinking and working out on the little 1G uh, on the turbo side of things and uh, also finalising or tidying up a few little things on the uh, intake side. Just working my way through the process. Um, it's looking good, but I'm sort of tidying it up because uh, I've got my other project coming back home, sadly, sort of. Uh, the uh, the Tirana's coming home. Uh, haven't had a lot of success with the tuning and the supercharger. Got a few issues. We think we've narrowed it down to the uh, ECU. So I'm going to be doing a bit of work on that and a few videos on that over the coming weeks. The little 1G might go to the side. Uh, the car, the Celica body that this is going in, is still uh, up with the um, uh, the bodybuilder <laughs> or the spray painter, panel beater. He'd like to be known as a bodybuilder. Uh, and uh, it's progressing. It's still in undercoat. I think uh, it may be starting the process of finishing off uh, the body work. Um, more undercoat and uh, sanding basically blocking it down and getting that nice surface finish to put the uh, finished paintwork on it but anyway that's where the little 1G is at the moment I'll show you what I'm doing and uh, we'll get into it when I started thinking about the redesign of this motor one of the things I was planning was that front facing throttle body uh, and part of that was the clean look now i'm questioning again i've seen a few i keep looking online and seeing other people's builds i've seen people with these which is basically the idle control which is basically uh, running the cold water of the engine through this unit picks up the temperature and and adjusts the fuel delivery um, based on that uh, water temperature which can be done many other ways um with modern ecus and uh just just temperature sensors these days so i think i'm going to bite the bullet and take this off at this stage there are some other things on the horizon but i'm just continuing along this line at this stage i would love to get this motor up and running on a stand um and part of the taking this off is managing this coolant line down here now that comes around i talked about it earlier in an earlier video down around the base of the oil filter housing this here is actually an oil cooler so um i haven't seen an engine with this before it's quite a good concept so there's a little oil cooler here um, the oil comes into the oil filter and back out and we've got water running around this unit cooling the oil to put it back into the engine and you can see these uh these lines running in and out of it now this is the line here this line here is running back up to that idle control so i think i'm going to just run this directly back into the cooling system rather than going up here through the idle control um, it runs down in through the bottom of the throttle body you can see it down in here pops back out the other side just here and then it runs back around into through this metal pipe here back into the cooling system and returns up through those pipes to the uh, thermostat housing and the radiator so i'm going to take this off make up a little blank plate and redirect those lines so um, the coolant's still flowing but i'll blank off the idle control valve that's one thing that i want to take off for now so we'll get into that and do it so that's phase one and i may change this again as you do but uh, i've got that idle control valve out and the pipe that was running to the idle control valve i've looped straight back up to the throttle body now i'm not sure whether that 
goes just straight through and just is a path back. Um, I'd be interested if anyone's got some feedback on that, but it is very easy to run this straight back into that pipe if I need to change that and tidy it up a little bit more, but that's not bad solution at this stage. You've just got to make up a little blanking plate and screw that uh, off and close it up. There's my uh, blanking plate profile. I've got a bit of, this is a bit of quarter inch aluminium plate and just use the uh, idle control valve as a template. <laughs> used one of the holes that was in the plate uh, and I'll cut that out and drill that hole and then I can blank that uh, area off in the throttle body in the uh, intake manifold. There's the end of, uh, of the end result of making that uh, blanking plate. Um, so I just need to put some gasket goo on it, bolt it off, and that's the job done. Um, what I found, that's a quarter inch aluminium plate and the old uh, battery powered circular saw with a carbide blade is an awesome tool that did the bulk of the work for me. And then I've just used a file to file it up and drill the holes with some high speed steel drills. But that's the go. So I'll be able to blank that off and then move on to the next phase. So the ultimate goal is tidiness and that definitely looks a lot tidier having that gone. Um, you know, I'm no, <laughs> no uh, engineer when it comes to the running of engines, but theoretically um, all you need is a um, manifold vacuum pressure and uh, some RPM to determine how the engine should run and some temperature sensors, which we have over here on the side of the thermostat housing. We have heaps of temperature sensors over here, some for gauges, some for sensors. Um, I don't think it should be a problem removing that. So I've still got to fit up the injector rail and get those injectors in there. I want to do that to seal up those injector holes. Uh, you can see them down through there. The injector rail is sitting down on the ground and uh, I've got miles of injectors that probably need a bit of a clean up and checking. So ultimately I've got to get that done. Um, but I'm just starting to look at the uh, turbo side of things and just doing a bit of trial fitting up of that uh, manifold that I got off Dave's engine. Just having a look at how it works and I'm not 100% on it. Um, we've got our two for our twin turbo setup off the original motor, we've got um, our oil feeds. Now one of these gets blocked off, the other one will be a feed, oil feed to the turbo. And down under here is the oil drain and I'm still not 100% on uh, what I've done there. I do have a spare one off Dave's engine. Um, so just fitting up this manifold, um, Dave's had an external wastegate and a blow-off valve where the cheap eBay turbo that I bought has an internal wastegate. So just working out a few things with how that all fits up. I just had a how good is this moment. Uh, this is the original out of this hole. Um, dual feed lines and one gets blocked off and I just went and had a look at all the bits and pieces that came with my turbo and uh, there's a plug so designed to block it off it's a bit shorter um, should fit in there quite nicely I'll put this uh, copper um, crush washer you know, hopefully it seals up quite nicely and uh, block that line off. So that's job done. One blanked off. Now I've got the one oil feed line that will feed into the turbo here. While I was at it, I remember um, being told to replace this and I bought this ProFlow 
uh, uh, flexible pipe here to replace this while the engine was out. Now the old one wasn't too bad, but it was, the suggestion was made to me to replace it while I got it out because it was an absolute nightmare uh, once you put the engine in. And I hadn't put the hose clamps on it while I've been working around this back area of the engine. I noticed that, so I've just scrounged a couple of hose clamps and sealed that off now. Uh, still have to put the other edge of it on. This is basically these lines here up the top and this line um, go to the heater core, which I probably will use, uh, but maybe not straight away. It'll be set up there so I can. But uh, yeah, so fitted that off. Got it sealed up, got them nice and tight, and it's new, so I'm not going to have any troubles with that once the engine goes back in the car. Where I'm at at the moment is uh, taking this line to here. Now, I don't have anything to do with that, and I've just been doing a bit of research online about what these style fittings are called, and they are a banjo fitting. So down here you'll see that banjo fitting and you can get banjo to an fittings which i've used a fair bit of an fitting so that's actually a 12 mil banjo fitting the old oil line that's one of the original turbos looks pretty ugly but that's it single uh that's one of the twin turbos um so i need to uh buy a fitting to go from here um up to here basically so I'm gonna to have to make um, make another fitting to fit on there to go to an AN thread and then I think I'll just do a flexible AN line to bring that oil feed into the top uh, the next mission is the same down here I haven't got anything to go onto that drain so I'll make up an adapter to go onto that drain which will run down to that point there and as i said i think i'm going to take the one off dave's uh, or buy a 90 degree this is 10 an this fitting i put on here if i buy a 90 degree fitting so it's pointing up will be much better because when i put the 10 an fitting on that i've got it just comes straight out at the moment and i need it to go run up into that underside of the turbo so a couple of things i've got to make before i can do too much more on this project um, and then i might start looking at locking it all off the other thing that i'm looking at is uh, this v-band outlet here off the wastegate so this is my wastegate actuator out uh, through a v-band fitting now with this manifold um, being set up for an external wastegate turbo what i think i'm going to do is run a pipe or make a pipe up a v-band pipe up to run down to here somewhere and maybe adapt onto there so it might have to go out and around and adapt onto there and have an outlet either that or cut it off completely and i don't want to do that at this stage so yeah got a few things i got to do to this to set this side up um so that's the mission for the next uh next week or so look at doing a bit of that stuff buying a few bits and pieces and getting set up so everything is trial fit and it's pretty much ready to lock off anyway that's where i'm at so that's where we're at fellas uh, the little 1g is going to be pushed to the side i've got to order a few parts as you can see there uh, and i can tinker away on that motor and tidy up a few things and finalize that uh, uh, that turbo side of the engine as you can see in the background there there's a fair bit of stuff laying around and with that uh, tirana project coming back and i've got to do some major work to it uh, i'll probably ripping the ripping it completely apart pulling the motor back out 
going right back through and proving there's a few things that I'm worried about inside that motor, things that I bought that, you know, I'm questioning. But anyway, uh, it's all a process and uh, looking like buying a Haltech computer for that because I think the ECU is the biggest problem. And with that 1G there, I wanted to do the same in the Celica. I wanted to run a Haltech computer. So it's not a bad idea buying that computer and uh, getting to know it. But uh, that's where we're at in uh, Kemikazi Garage. Looking around, need to clear a little bit of space in here for the Tirana coming back because it'll be taking up a bit of space for a little while. Anyway, guys, keep watching. Keep watching this space. Keep watching the progress. Keep watching the frustration. I tell you, there's some frustration in car building. Uh, but you just got to get over yourself and uh, get into it and get through it and learn from the experience. Anyway, guys, take care. Be good. See you soon.